Hi, I'm Karen, and this is my partner, Wendy, and we own Lice Doctors, the largest in-home lice treatment service in the country. Today, our video is going to be about head lice life cycle from knit to lice. And we are going to be talking about uh, a variety of factors of the life stages of lice. So Wendy, tell me about the life stages of lice. What are they? And can you explain each of the three stages to everybody? Sure can. Okay, how does it start? Well, you have to catch a bug from somebody else who has lice. You cannot catch the eggs. They are glued onto the hair. Now, a lot of kids are in very close contact with each other and it's head to head contact. So the bug crawls off one child's head right into the other ones and starts the egg laying process. Okay, so remember you cannot catch the eggs. That's an important thing to know. Now, when the bug is in the hair, okay, it lays the eggs. These eggs take seven to 10 days to hatch, okay? And once they hatch, out comes a little baby nymph. Now that nymph cannot lay eggs. It needs to grow and it needs to feed. And we all know that they feed on blood. So the nymph eats for about seven to 10 days and then that nymph is old enough to lay eggs. That's when we call it a louse. And then the louse will lay eggs, quite a few, and then those eggs hatch. And that's how the life cycle continues. And it just doesn't stop go, um, happening until you do something about it. So basically you're saying that if you don't treat head lice, it will just keep getting worse and worse. Exactly. And a lot of people think they get rid of head lice by using a lot of the over-the-counter products when in fact they don't. And what happens is the case keeps getting worse because you think you got rid of it, but no, there are still active bugs in there that are resistant to the chemicals that are still laying eggs. And the case just gets worse and worse and worse. And how about the lifespan of a louse? Uh, how long can lice live in your hair, or how long can each louse live in the hair before it dies? A louse can live up to 30 days, okay? And that's a long time. It goes around, it lays eggs, it doesn't stop until it dies. So uh, yeah, it takes a while and you have to kill the bugs to end the cycle. Okay, so I understand if you have multiple eggs in the hair and they're all hatching and then two, 10 days later, they're all laying eggs. And then those eggs um, hatch and 10 days later, you have mature bugs and then they start laying eggs. You're gonna have an exponential increase in the, um, in, in the incidence of bugs and nits yeah. in your hair. Otherwise known as a head full of lice. Okay, and um, how about, is the lifespan of a louse the same if it's off of the bug, off of the head. For example, if a bug climbs onto your couch or onto your backpack or, or sofa, will it also live for, for 30 days? Definitely not, because remember, if there's no blood, there's no bugs. The bug needs blood to survive. So when it's off the head, it's gonna die in a day or two, at the most. Okay, so when it comes to a louse, it's the head, not the house. <laughs> That's correct. Okay. So uh, I, think we, uh, I think you answered our questions about head lice and their life cycle. And for those of you out there who are dealing with head lice, if you find lice in the hair, you can try to treat it on your own. Make sure you bring your child outside or over under bright light so you can see what you're doing. But many people find that because the lice scoot from the light and because the eggs camouflage, it's hard to treat on your own. So feel free to call us. You can reach us online at lysedoctors.com or call us at 800-224-2537 and we're open 365 days and nights a week.